they handle purchasing, construction, or refinancing loans. First time home buyers, they have programs for you too. Very competitive rates, quick approval and closing. You know, when you're buying a house, you want to get it approved and closed as fast as you can. You will work with Alan Easterwood and his staff on all of your loans. So give them a call today. They have offices in Oxford, Alexandria, and coming soon to Jacksonville. The number is 256-835-8855. Tell them I told you to call. You know, a lot of people, when you say moldy carpet, they don't know what you're talking about. Auto Custom Carpet right here on Noble Street, downtown Anniston. Ken Hale and his staff, they have moldy carpet for your vehicle. Moldy carpet means it fits right in your vehicle. Pre-cut, all you have to do is pick out the color, tell them to make of the car, go in there on Monday, order that carpet. Guess what? Towards the end of the week, they'll be calling you to pick it up. Go home, it will lay right in that car. Any type car made, they have it right there at Auto Custom Carpet. Go by today or call and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, in the state of Alabama, one thing that better be working perfect is that air condition. For all of your central heating and air conditioning needs, contact Wayne Mazel at Mazel Heating and Air Condition here in Oxford. They are state certified, bonded, and insured. Wayne and his staff do service, installation, new construction, and that yearly inspection. You know, every time you get a yearly inspection on that air conditioning unit, they check the Freon and check everything out, and it saves on that power bill. So give them a call today at 835-0509. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this blackboard? These sponsors are what brings Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. If it wasn't for the sponsors and the car owners, you wouldn't be watching Big Boys Toys six, seven times a week there in your home. And it's a new show each and every week. We're getting our calendar ready for 2007 right now. If you've got a car show coming up and we're not booked that day, I'll try my best to be there. And if you want to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys, give me a call today. 283-4404, Erico 256, and say, hey, I want to be a part of the number one show in Northeast Alabama. Oxford Tire and Alignment, right here on Hamrick Drive, Oxford, Alabama. It's just like the name says, Tires and Alignment. He has any type of tires from domestic cars all the way up to motorhomes, RVs, and the big trucks. He can fix the tires on just about anything. Mission and BF Goodrich is his name brands, but he can find any kind of tire that you want for your vehicle. Used tires, he has them also, and he does the wheels. Wheels, guys, you know, you get these old cars and you want to put 15s, 20s, 24s, it don't make no difference. Alan and his staff can get them. Give them a call today at 256-831-6320. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Nunley's Glass and Framing, Quintard Avenue, right across from Ron Newton. Tell you what, you guys with the old cars, any kind of windshields, he can get them. No matter what year it is, well, going back to the 50s, he can get your windshields. Tinted windows, he tints windows. He's really the glass man. He can do anything. The framing part comes in. You store fronts. He can replace the glass on the store fronts. He frames up the glass on the store fronts. He does about anything. He'll go to Pell City, Talladega. He'll go anywhere. Call him today. To call Guy today. Make sure you talk to Guy. Tim Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Well, summertime, time for a trip to the beach or to the mountains. You never know where you're going to go. I got a place you need to go before you leave. Friendship Automotive right on Friendship Road, Oxford, Alabama. $59.95. Randy says they'll change your oil on most vehicles. Filter, grease it, check your tires, check your water. They'll check everything on that vehicle before you hit the road. $59.95, that's a great price right here in Oxford, Alabama. Hey. They said if you mention Big Boy Stories, they'll knock five more dollars off of it. And when you go on your trip, you won't have nothing to worry about it because they'll have it all checked out. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. Next vehicle, Ron Stumbo, a 1923 Ford C-Cab. C-Cab, now what? C-Cab. Explain the C-Cab. Actually, they were made in the 1923s. Uh, they were like a mail truck uh, sedan type deliveries, what they were. Uh, this particular one's a pickup. Uh, I started to tell you, you couldn't get a lot of mail on the back of this thing. <laughs> they used them for uh, deliveries from uh, groceries to, to mail, whatever, they, uh, a regular. Yeah, you, you couldn't get a lot of mail in it, but I bet you'll get there quick. <laughs> we can get there quick. Now, how long have you had the vehicle? I built the vehicle. I started in 1999, and we finished it probably 2004. So you did all the work yourself? Me and a friend of mine, yeah. We did most of the work. The only part that we did, I didn't do was the paint and the pinstriping. Now, where are you from? We're from Naples, Florida. Oh, so you'll haul it in, I'm sure. Well, yeah, this, that's, it'll beat you to death that long. <laughs> 
What made you want to fix up a, a sea cab, which this is actually the first one I've ever seen. And I've been cruising the coast. Well, I've been filming cruising the coast four years and I've never seen one. You've probably been here, but I didn't see it. Yeah, no, I've been, uh, this is our fourth year and it's the third year for the automobile. Uh, I built the sea cab for two reasons. Uh, we live in Florida. Uh, the sun's pretty tense, so uh, we, you know, kind of keeps us in the shade a little bit. Uh, it was just a unique vehicle. You have air conditioning? Yes, sir. All three windows. <laughs> Can you take that top off or not? It's all no, built it's, in. A, it's solid. It's a you, solid. You need product. to get you one of them air sunroofs put up here in the middle top of it. <laughs> and a curve. Yeah. You'll, have, you'll be the yeah. only one to have a, have a 23 C cab with a moon roof. Mm. Well, there is one I've seen around with a window in it. Yeah, but you do that, it's going to leak. Yeah. You bet you it's going to leak. It leaks right now. I, I tell people all the time, I don't know if you've ever had one of friends had one. There's Corvette owners. There's two types of Corvette owners. There are Corvette owners that tell you their car leaks, and there's Corvette owners that lie. Because I don't care what year it is, it's going. If you if you it rains, it's going to leak. Well, I got a new one right there. And if it pours down rain, you better get out of rain. Mine's not a Corvette, but it leaks. Do you put? It has no windows. I start saying you ain't got no windows. If it rains, you are going to get wet. At least I'm going to be dripping. You're going to be dripping, but you'd it's going to be your clothes. You'd be surprised. It, it, it keeps out the rain pretty good. If we have so, more trouble coming, uh, the rain coming in the back of it, we do it aside. It's kind of hard for rain to come in it when you run a 100 mile hour, ain't it? Yeah, you're right. That's just like a lot of people don't realize you take a pickup truck, like the guys that was up here in the orange one, if you ain't got the cover on it. You got something in the back of the pickup truck and it's pouring down rain, as long as you're running, it won't it get won't wet. Get. It yeah. will not get wet, but if you stop, it's cancel boring. Christmas. <laughs> it's over, cancel Christmas. Now. You built the engine and all in it? No, a friend of mine helped me build the engine. What else do you want to do to it, if anything? Uh, the only thing I'm going to do to it is uh, it doesn't have shocks in the front of it yet. Kind of rides rough, don't it? Uh, not really that bad. Uh, some of these roads, it's a little rough, but... Uh, is this uh, guy behind you with you? Yes, sir. The next from, car coming up he's for you from, people watching at home? He's from Florida, too. Can you take him? Can I take him? I don't believe so. I started three. He's got that thing, got them three holes up on top of it. I, I built mine for cruising. What did he build his for? Uh, he built he, his. He built he, his. He built his for cruising a little faster, faster than you. Than me, yeah. <laughs> I reckon he thought a bear's after me, and you know, there's two guys, the bear chasing him. He says, "How hey, we gonna outrun that bear?" He said, "I gotta run that bear. I gotta outrun you. Bear's gonna stop." He can definitely outrun. Nothing him. else you want to do to it? Put shocks on the front and drive. That, that's it. I mean, that's uh, we've been driving it uh, like I say since uh, 2004. <laughs> this is our third trip up here with the car. Uh, one trip we didn't have the car. And the first year I brought it up here, the first day I blew the transmission. So it sit on the trailer. That hurts you, don't Oh, that hurts. That's that fellow bad by tearing something up yeah. when you get to Biloxi. Oh, yeah. Oh, he that, done it last year, year before last, <laughs> right after we got here. That, that hurt. Tell you what, it's a good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being oh, on yes, the show. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. We'll be right back. All right.
Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons. Yeah. Nineteen sixty-eight Ford Mustang, Alan Vincent. Alan, welcome to Big Boy Stores. Tell me about your car. Uh, we got this car last April. I found it sitting over in Ocean Springs. It had been wrecked uh, about seven years ago, sitting without any glass in it. Uh, it was it was wiped out pretty good. After the hurricane, my wife told me she wanted a Mustang. I put the word out, and uh, a lot of the Mustangs were really getting good prices. A lot of uh, the steel got washed away. And uh, we went down and got her a new Mustang because I couldn't find an old one. Then in April, somebody told me about this one. I went out and looked at it and uh, talked to the guy who owned it, and he, he, was, he was proud of it. Um, we talked about price, this, that, and the other. I got it from him, had a tow truck come out and drag it to the house. He said, man, it's factory original, 289, automatic transmission, air conditioning. He said, it run when I parked it seven years ago. That's right. before Katrina. <laughs> that was before Katrina. Uh, did he get damaged in it? It didn't. It didn't need Katrina to damage it. Uh, I was, I didn't need Katrina, huh? <laughs> uh, I drug it home, I, I told my wife, I said, look, I found a Mustang for you. And she looked at it and she said, that's not my car. She said, that one's not for me, that's you. I, I've done a lot of junkyard buildups before and this is the first one I've actually pulled out of somebody's house that I thought really needed to go back where it started. Um, <laughs> after we got to digging into it, it had been hit pretty hard. The only thing that we really kept on it was the driver's side fender and the roof. Everything else we changed. Uh, three months, day and night, eight, 10, 12 hour days to get it ready for last uh, cruising the coast. Uh, we changed the paint scheme, changed the interior, uh, ended up changing the drive line. The engine that's in it now, it was a 289, it's got a 351 in it. My was dad the 289 donated, the original motor? The 289 was the original motor, but it was so sick and tired, it had about five million miles on it. It smoked. Five million it, just, miles. It, 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 was, it was a pitiful sight, especially even for a Ford. Sorry, I'm not a shirt. Well, I used to be a Chevrolet guy. I used to drag race Camaros for a long time. But my dad coughed up the 351. This is the motor that me and my uh, sisters learned to drive in as a teenager. He had a 77 Thunderbird. He said, you know, I got a 351 sitting down there in that T-Bird. T-Bird's about had it, but the motor's brand new. You're welcome to it. So we went and put the 351 in it. And first thing it did was eat the C4 transmission that was in it. So we had to beef up the C6 transmission. And uh, we've, been, we've been just having a ball with it. Me and my wife cruise it around. We take it out to the local cruises when we can every Saturday night. Had a lot of fun. It's been a good family car. It's been a learning project. I won't take any more out of anybody's yards, especially when I was telling myself I really didn't want it anyway. You got any kids? I got three kids. I got two teenagers, and they're begging to drive it. And I got one 11 year old who knows or thinks he knows he's going to be driving it. How old is your teenager? 18, 17. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I don't think you're going to let him drive it. It stays locked up in its own private garage. Uh, <laughs> we've got other projects for them to bang up, but this this one pretty much stays locked up. You don't go out of town much, do you? Uh, not a whole lot, not in this car, not at about eight miles a gallon, we don't. I mean, do you go out of town much and leave the keys at home? Oh, no, I've got a lockbox, the keys stay locked up. I've got, I've got a 29 Ford and a 57 Chevy too. They all, all have their own private lockbox, it stays pretty well locked up. So they can call the armored truck, but they ain't gonna get in there, right? They ain't getting in there. They ain't, they ain't gonna get in there to drive it. Hey, well, you let them drive it when you in there with them? Uh, no. No. <laughs> My wife hasn't even actually driven this car. She drove it once right after we got it finished, and I think it scared her driving it the five miles back to the house. So, How's that 351 run in it? I tell you what, this, this is one of the strongest engines. I've, I've raced a long time, but as far as torque goes, I was amazed at how much torque this engine actually has got. Um, Where are you it's from? Got me, it, I'm, I'm here in Biloxi. But it got me in trouble last year. You were talking about burnouts and this, that, and the other. Uh, last year, I got pulled over uh, by one of the local police officers, and he told me, man, that's the coolest thing I ever saw. I hate to write you a ticket, but I'm going to anyway. I say, I, I, I didn't look behind me. I had to happen to do it right in front of him. He is a super nice guy. It was an expensive ticket. It won't happen this year. Uh, and you from Biloxi, and he gave you a ticket. Yeah, well, I earned it. I, I did. I, I really did. I started to say, at least he ain't picking on you because you're out of town. <laughs> no, no. He, he, I, I earned it. I sat right there and went through all three gears right in front of him. He said, man, that was, that was great. That was cool. Here you go. 
But he was behind you? Uh, he, he was behind me. It was one of those things. My wife said, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to get in trouble. I said, nah, let's go ahead. One time won't hurt us. Yeah, well. <laughs> and being a white car, getting the rubber off of it's no fun. I think your wife should have told you, son, look in the rear view mirror before you do it. Yeah, well, sometimes you don't do the smartest things. He couldn't have called you if you didn't want it. Well, you knew below to you. You're uh, well, uh, that's not a running from the cop kind of car. <laughs> That's more of a pull immediately over, go ahead and take your yeah, lights kind of thing. Because they kind of, uh, you can't hide. They you know, can't hide that car. They know that car, especially if you live in Biloxi anyway. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. I appreciate it, Barry. We'll be right back, and he ain't going to turn it loose when he leaves because he's scared of Biloxi PD. Guarantee it. We'll be right back. We're in the beautiful showroom of Billy Beatty Auto Super Center right here in Oxford, Alabama. Billy, welcome back to Big Boys Toys. One of the, he was the first car dealer on Big Boys Toys and he is back. Thank you, Barry. We're glad to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys. We want to invite all of our customers, previous customers. Barry, we got almost 200 cars on this lot. I've been in car business here all my life in Calhoun County, and we want to invite in all of our customers, any new customers. We love to trade here, Barry. Even you, you've bought four cars from us in the last two years. I've bought a lot of cars here. And hey, you old guys, when you come down here, he's a car enthusiast too. You've got vets sitting around here, Camaras. He can show you anything you want to see, but his specialty is these late model cars that's just gorgeous. You hear someone talking about fine jewelry, they got to be talking about Stinson and Howard's Fine Jewelry. With three locations to serve you, they do watch repair, they repair Rolexes, they do jewelry repair, they custom make jewelry. And diamonds, I'm going to tell you what, from $500 to $50,000. Guys, when you get in the doghouse, you got to get out, you need to go to one of these locations and say, hey, I need y'all to help me get out of the doghouse because they can do it right there. And ladies, they got anything you want. In jewelry, bracelets, gold, diamonds, you name it, it's there. Stop by the Oxford store, see Sam or Mike, Heflin, Lindsay, Donna or Rex, Piedmont, see Linda or Brandon, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Store we sent you by. Hey everybody, this is Barry Miller. Let me tell you about a place that has 50 years combined experience in the following areas. Personal injury, bankruptcy, divorce, DUI, criminal defense, child custody, and even workman's compensation. I'm talking about Merle, Merle, Matthews, and Allen right here on Layton Avenue in Aniston. They have free consultation on personal injury cases. Contact Jake Matthews, Ronald Allen, or Stanley Allen at this firm, and they will give you the best legal advice around in this area. You know, they say that when you go to court, always take an attorney with you. Well, when you take one of these attorneys, you take the best. Give them a call today, 256-236-5063. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Soda Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama is one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff, they can also handle any time of golf tournament or just a corporate or small group function. Lonnie Reese, the PGA pro and manager, also has golf lessons for people of all ages. Call or visit Saddle Ridge Golf Club today. Tell them you heard about them on Big Boys Toys and receive a special discount on that next great round of golf. Next vehicle, Don Duke Alley, a 1997 Chevrolet Camaro. Don, was it a big boy's toy? Nice to meet Tell you. Tell me a little bit about your car. Uh, we bought it new. My dad taught me to buy it. And then, uh, talked you into it. Yeah, I didn't think it I could. It hard to talk a young man into buying a Camaro. Yeah, it like, was, because I didn't think I could afford it. But uh, we, oh, we ended up looking at used cars, and, and I ordered it on paper. So I think eight, six, eight weeks later, they delivered it, and we went and picked it up. The whole thing about ordering one, you know, I'm 52 years old. When I buy a car, I want it right then. I ain't going to order nothing. I ain't waiting. I'm going to buy it. Well, they didn't have anything on the lot I wanted. I didn't want I have to drive for 200 miles, I'm going to get it. You're going to get it. I'm going to get it. Well, we got it, and uh, we put 10,000 miles on it, and then we pull the motor apart, and we put a cam in it, heads, and then uh, 
I drove it for another 10,000 miles and it just wasn't fast enough. Pull the motor back out, stroked it, made it a 383, put the same heads of cam back in it and changed the clutch and then put a 12 bolt rear end in it, some little bit lower gears and a roll cage. And it's been like that. We've got 50,000 miles on it now. And so what kind of motor was in it to begin with? It was a 350. 350. Yeah. And we uh, took it apart, put a 400 crank in it and uh, five, seven rods and polished the heads and put it back together. Now run automatic or four speeds? Five six speeds. Six speeds, that's six right. Speed. You come out, you've got a couple more gears than most of them. Yeah, that's nice. Can you can you hang with that firebird? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, look, at, look at him laughing back there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Can he hang with you? He's getting there. He's getting there. It's running better. He put a convert in it, and he put some gears in it, so we're all kind of close. How about we all jump on old yellow? Yeah, I got on old yellow. Uh, I got him a couple of times, but since then he's changed the cam and the carburetor. I, I think he's one up me now. Well, you know, one up. So I gotta catch him again. That's what you always do when you're older, like we are. If someone outruns you, they gotta do it again next Saturday. Right. He went home and uh, made it better. Yeah. So uh, he's busy right now. You've had it since when? Since '97. So you've actually brand new, just about. Bought it brand new. I've been coming out here with it since 2000. Okay. So you actually put 10,000 on it and took it apart. Says so time to work. That's right. Anything else you want to do? The car or anything? Uh. No, I'll fix some little, keep up with the attention with it, maybe put a supercharger on it later. That'll be about it. Just supercharge it up when you get a chance. That's it. Now, what's some of the car shows y'all go to? Just this big one here, or y'all go to different? Oh, they got some locally. Well, I go to cruise nights on the weekends, and they got a Firebird Club locally, and it's all Firebirds, and uh, it's got a lot, of, a lot of car clubs locally. Keeps us pretty busy. So, nothing else you want to do to it now, but just a little minor stuff? You know, I just keep up with it. It's starting to get old now. I need some door hinges and uh, a couple other things. Keep up with the maintenance. Keep That's up with it and ease it around. Yeah, I, I like coming out here and just enjoying everybody, the people. And it's nice this year. We've had great weather. Wind's it been is. blowing a lot, but the size of wind, we've been having pretty good weather. Well, let's keep the rain out. We'll be all right. I don't think it's it threatened today, but it never did rain, so. Well, we got wet this morning. Uh, I told you, I told you, if you come to the Isle of Capri and stay here, you don't get wet. It did not rain on us today. We, we won't get wet. Yesterday afternoon, it rained on us about five minutes, and they quit, and we went right on film. Cool. Today, it had rained a lick, and you was up yonder somewhere else, up yonder, and got rained on. Yeah, we did. Next month, year, about a month before the cruising the coast, maybe two months, because they get booked pretty quick if we're here. We might be here, but I hope so. Just say, I want to stay down there, and you won't get rained on. Well, we're staying here tonight. You staying here tonight? We'll be here all weekend. All right. See, we we having a good time now. Oh, yeah. Hey, we'll we'll be walking around the lobby when we get done talking to them two cars. Yeah, we're gonna get some cold ones. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go in there and get my fifty dollars back. There you go. But my luck, they're gonna get fifty more. They might. That's what my wife said. She said, "Gosh, here are all these people. Everybody's winning." I said, "Baby, look at them lights. Everybody ain't winning." That's right. Coming I, from somewhere. I couldn't even pay the power bill to put a light on that bird for a month. <laughs> It's a great space, and they, they take care of it. Yeah, it's nice. Very Tell you what, nice. good-looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you very much. I got two more from New Orleans. You don't want to miss. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us this week. We had a great time. A lot of cars here cruising the coast. Like I said, we're at the Isle of Capri Casino, Biloxi, Mississippi, having a great time. You should be here. Join us next week. We'll show you more cars from Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs>